Hello, it's Sarah. I have a couple of uh, altered Altoid tins to share today. Um, I had these last um, Halloween. I took a class at our local scrapbooking store, and we made this little um, Altoid tin. And this was all provided for us, everything. Uh, she had all the different stuff, so. But it's actually a little mini book that she put in it's just like uh, an accordion style mini book and we connected a couple of 12 by 12 papers I think and we just decorated the tin uh, ooh, a Tim Holtz thing I love I love I'm into Tim Holtz lately um, so anyway I had finished that one and at the time I went ahead and I altered a couple other ones but I never put embellishments on them I only put the paper so I wanted to share them. Um, since I was working on Tim Holtz stuff and I had put Tim Holtz paper on these, this one looks like I did um, I did some alcohol inking to it and just tried to uh, give it a vintagey look. I didn't cover the entire thing with paper. And then this one I did cover with paper all the way around. Actually, you can't put it in the in the lip in the lid or it doesn't close right. But let me just start with this one. This one is so cool. I left, like, see how the Altoid can is red on this one. So I just cut the paper to sh to leave the red showing and used it as a, um, a part of the design. So I stamped and cut out the three little men from one of Tim's uh, stamp sets. And then I just, like, used the red, his red distress stain. I'm um, not stain. Um distress ink and just kind of hit them on the right side of their heads to kind of I don't know bring the red in I stamped out this admit one and put one of the chit chat imagine on there and then I glued I had seen I don't know if it was Pinterest or sometimes I just google a uh, subject and then if you go to images you click images and a bunch of images will come up so I made it just clicked um, Altoid, altered Altoid tins, and then a similar one came up of this. It was, uh, it had a cutout of gears down here, but I just put the Tim Holtz gears, and this was cool. I actually punched a hole in the tin and used one of these uh, clock keys. Um, I put the screw through it, and then I just covered that with every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. Um, and I popped that up so you really, you don't know that I did it. Because I had already covered the whole thing with paper. Um, and then this is, this moves obviously. And um, I just put the um, measuring tape around there and the bottom. But for mine, instead of making a mini album, I use ribbon. And you just, before you adhere the bottom paper down, you take a piece of ribbon and you kind of let it, well, you can adhere these down before you cut the ribbon if you want to, but you let it kind of hang over so you can make sure that everything's going to um, line up before you, you know, because this has to fold back in and fold back in and fold back in. And then I use a little piece of ribbon to leave and that actually like hangs out. So I like this one. It turned out really cool. I really like it. Then this is my other Tim one. I, uh, I had already put the paper on, so the themes didn't really match my paper, and I tried to, like, I don't know, I think this is, um, the Attic Treasures paper or something like that, or, anyway, um, I cut out, I fussy cut out the car, and then this little guy is from the Little Thing stamp set, this one, uh, again, and he's just the right size that I, I cut his cane off and just put them right on, I glued them right onto the car, so he kind of looks like he's like opening the door almost. I put a little gear where the spare tire goes, and I put one of those like, I guess this is called a clock key too, and this is not a Tim Holtz key, it's just like, um, I think it's, uh, what the heck is the brand name? You know, over in Michael's, um, found, lost and found, found items or something. I put a little piece of a map under here because it's enjoy the journey, but you can't really tell. I wish I would have pop, like, I don't know, popped it up or glossy accident or something. And I put um, a postcard of California and just a butterfly because I wanted to tie in the blue. And then as an afterthought, I added this ribbon, this, um, I guess they call it Chinese. 
I forget what they braid, Chinese braid. Um, but I had, I had done it to this other one that I'm going to show, but I just thought it looked kind of cool. And I, I found this like blue, this is a recollections bling of some type. It's like a little, I don't know how you would describe it, but it's like almost like a mesh metal. And so I put that around the bottom and I thought it looked cool. Like it just kind of, it doesn't girl it up too much. I think it still looks grungy with the blue. And then on the inside, I put the Journey Awakens the Soul. Because the papers, I have buttons in here. I probably wouldn't have put buttons, but um, I didn't know what I was doing at the time. And then I did the same thing. So it, it like, you make your little mini album, but then you adhere it to it with the, um, the ribbon. So it's kind of like an accordion type album. I like them. I think they're cool. So... I, and I wish, I mean, like I said, I think I made this last October, so um, I really don't remember the um, tutorial I saw for it. But the last one I did was with the um, Secret Garden paper. Uh, so this was already done, like just covered in paper, and all I needed to do was embellish it. And I did it with this, I did the light blue, um, I guess it's called Chinese... I don't know why I keep thinking it's called Chinese something, <laughs> embroidery or something. And I have this thin one in a couple colors, so that's what made me think, oh, maybe I'll put that around here. Because just to make it pop a little more, I don't know, I think this one had plenty with just the gears and all that stuff. So I don't know, I, I think this one just needed something else to make it pop. So um, anyway, then this, I fussy cut out a couple of the little fairies and just put them down in the corner. Um... I put this little key, I used the jump ring and just like put it around this bow and then just glued a little, so you can kind of see the jump ring. And just glued the lace bow down with a flower, put a little hummingbird bead on there and a little lock because it is a secret garden. And um, just again, and then there's just a little saying from the um, paper stack and the secret garden bloomed and bloomed and every morning revealed new miracles. I fussy cut out this little section of flowers here and glued it onto that and then popped it up and the same thing you just it's all the pretty paper and I could probably embellish a little bit in here but because there is quite a bit of room I've seen people actually use um the bind it all and put a little mini in these but I enjoy these um finishing these so much and I have two more tins so I think I'm going to be I've been trying to make I'm making small things lately so I really enjoyed these. Um, probably going to make a couple more little books too. Um, but I have, a, oh, I'm working on this. It's, I'm almost at eight minutes, but I just did this. It's a small configurations box. I just got all my papers in and I'm gluing my feet. It's probably, I think it's dry now, but I'm excited. I'm about to do that. And I have some other Tim projects in the works. I'm going to do a grunge block, like it's called... Um, Oh, I can't think of the name right now, but it's a, com like, not a compendium, but it's a, oh, man. Anyway, it's like a quilt pattern with the grunge block, so I'm going to do that. All right, guys, thanks for watching.